dead and several others are injured after an SUV crashed into an irrigation ditch early this morning. El Paso police are leading the investigation and they say they're seeing an increase in migrant related crashes. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis is live at the scene of the crash with more details. Brianna. Stephanie, as you can see, the scene here at Artcraft in Upper Valley is now clear. But earlier today, there were several police units on site. I want you to take a look at how it looked earlier. The, the uh, people to blame here are the coyotes that are uh, smuggling these, these uh, innocent people. Several units on scene as first responders rescue people from the irrigation ditch after a speeding SUV hit a Border Patrol unit. That is kind of concerning, um, especially if um, it has to do with, I don't know, anybody running from the law or something. El Paso police says this crash was not a pursuit and authorities have not said if those involved in the crash are migrants. In just this month alone, we have seen two migrant related crashes in West El Paso. Some were immediately preceded by a police pursuit. Like this one on August 11th, when police were trying to pull over a car with several migrants inside on Executive Center Boulevard. Police say the driver lost control, crashing straight into a restaurant on Mesa Street. The Civil Rights Advocacy Group, American Civil Liberties Union of Texas, or ACLU, says they are concerned about the amount of high-speed pursuits by U.S. Border Patrol agents that end in death. Um, so since 2010, we've been tracking that data specific to vehicle pursuits. Fortunately, this year in 2022, we are on track uh, for this to be the deadliest year uh, yet. Spokesperson for Border Patrol says that with the increase in encounters, we have also seen an increase in organized smuggling schemes by transactional criminal organizations. In a statement, they say information they have received via our law enforcement partners and through migrant interviews indicate that smugglers are instructed by TCOs not to stop for law enforcement during vehicle and immigration stops. They are instructed to flee and fail to yield. According to the CBP policy, CBP officers may engage in and continue emergency driving, including a vehicle pursuit, only when and for as long as the agent determines that the law enforcement benefit and need for emergency driving outweighs the immediate and potential danger created by such emergency driving. Again, police have not said if migrants were involved in this crash, and they say that Border Patrol did not have a pursuit in this crash here today. For now, reporting in West El Paso, Brianna Perez, CBC7.